When it comes to last week's episode, it it was very interesting. I had asked some of you guys in the video, like, yo, was this episode like 100% from the manga or was it like bits and pieces? A had said the puppets were in the manga. The talk with Boruto and Ao did happen. What happened to Migino also happened in, in the manga. Basically everything in the episode happened in the manga, but in certain parts they added more scenes. Okay, that's, that's pretty much fine. I wanted to make sure that because they have a way of doing like 50% manga and 50% anime, but just to, just to see that they're doing all of it, it's just like, okay, so that means we're getting closer and closer to the real good parts of the anime. Um, my boy Rian had said, Magino is weak overall. He's basically a normal junior. The way they had showed Magino, right? The way in which they introduced Magino, it felt like to me he was one of the toughest Jonins that Boruto's ever met. Especially when we had saw him in the beginning of the car actuation arc. Like, attitude to what Boruto was. It was just very standoffish. And just for us to see him, like, getting taken down by, you know, like, some simple puppets, it really rubbed me the wrong way. And that's why I was like, you're saying, my boy Magino should be able to be better than this, you know? Oh, my boy Pokex. Um, hey man, it's Pokex on on Twitch, I'm um, looking forward to more dance moves to Twitch or what? Don't worry, I got a podcast for the for all the love which you show the Twitch screen, man. Um, Rim Lord Rimuru, I like the slight change they did to Boruto and Mitsuki's scene. They made Mitsuki's development matter. He can now decide for himself instead of clinging to Boruto for everything. And the manga Mitsuki was all over Boruto until Boruto accepted to go. I'm glad the anime made both of them better characters. Facts. Why? For me personally, I love seeing the anime side of it. Cause when I was like reading the manga, the manga, the manga gets you to where you want it to go. You want to see action stuff, you will go towards the manga. But the anime, it flushes the um the Boruto universe out for you. Maybe a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I say a little too much, but at the same time, it gives you context to what's going on and this um what Lord Romero had said about Mitsuki 100% because even Mitsuki said yeah even if you're not going I'm still freaking going which <laughs> I just love that Mitsuki is finally coming in of himself he's not always chasing Boruto he's making his own rational decisions can love it. Oh, also this um comment from Kuru. Uh Boruto definitely understands, but because of the trauma he went through and what happened to his father because of Boruto choosing to use the ninja tools in the tuning and he doesn't want to understand. Virtually staying closed minded about it because he just can't accept it. But this really makes Boruto a more realistic protagonist, which helps, which honestly makes him one of the my favorite written characters. The way in which the anime portrays it, it's like you can understand now why Boruto is staying away from Sidesaving Ninja Tools because he feels like Sidesaving Ninja Tools burned him so bad once he doesn't want to get burnt again and it, and and if you really think about it it's a good way to look at his character it, because Boruto had thoroughly learned his lesson but now he doesn't want to you know redo it again so the by so for them to like clarify how scientific ninja tools are I love that I personally do a love and appreciate they they did that to Boruto adds extra detail all right I think that's all the comments don't worry I got to, to each and every one of you guys that has left me comments bro oh I deeply appreciate that because it, it you know it helps me understand the anime universe it helps me look at the anime from different points of view you guys gotta remember I edit these videos heavy so I can't put all my reactions into it or I'll get freaking clean all right I think the episode just dropped oh, crud, I forgot Episode 183, The Hand of The Hand. I forgot Samire shows up in this episode. Holy crap. Also, the freaking hot doctor, whatever the crunch is. Holy stuff. Delta is still bay. Delta is still bay. Always remember that, chat. I've been caught. Yeah, I always remember that, y'all. Delta is still bay, but. Bro! Speak of. Bro! Woo! We starting this with off right! Whoa! Oh boy, hold up, hold up. Uh, bro, I just said, I just said. <laughs> I gotta calm down, man. It is too early in the freaking morning. Holy snow, I gotta calm down, man.
Delta, you look too fine to be in, the, in this anime. Who's this? Oh, this is that sucker code. Bro, do you see the feet? Okay, let me stop! So, I just love how they just start off the episode where all the car members are... I mean, not all the car members, but Delta, as well as Code, they find out that Victor is dead. Amanda just scrapes up tells him, man. No, no hesitation. It's just like... And I didn't know that Victor was 100% dead because I thought, okay, he'll just regenerate it. But you guys had told me in the comments that, yo, Victor did dead. That's how they killed him off in the manga. I was like, dang! Didn't think, didn't think that was going to happen. You know, you know what I still find surprising? I love how they still rely on foot travel. The way they get from one village to another is via foot travel. Nobody in this new age drives a freaking car. They got trains, but they don't have vehicles. But I must admit, everybody in the village does look, you know, like everybody looks fit. So I guess walking, you know, really does help you. It really does you pretty good if you just walk from place to place, you know? Get that good exercise. New A, long time no see. Dang, she fun. I remember y'all told me in the comments who this was. Well, I didn't know she was like this now. Sucker! Well, the Bartha franchise gotta chill out. They gotta chill out. They make it too many pretty fine freaking women in this witch, bro. Yeah, I feel like they made more, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They made a lot more female characters in this than Shippuden, as well as Naruto Part 1. Yes, we had Sanade. Yes, we had Hinata and Shippuden. Yes, we had Suck. Okay, Sakura. Just just say it. Sakura. And and maybe some more. But you can't lie. These suckers doing God's work with these chicks, bro. My girl got a VR headset on. Long time no see. Ooh. Ooh! Dang, Sarada! A flashbang. Now that I think about it, going back to everybody's comments about Borto, it makes sense. I see where y'all going at. Because it's taking Borto a lot longer to just adjust to it. I like that. I, I like that. Don't worry, God, I'll tell you guys in the comment section for pointing all that out. Because now my mind's open to this crud down. What are those other mitts and boots for? Here's my question. They, you, they're doing that, right? But why, like, how does this differentiate them from using chakra to walk up walls. I know they're gonna explain it, but it's just like, I find this sort of useless. I think the only people that would use this is for like, people that don't have no type of way to connect with their chakra. See, even though Miski explained that, it's just like, how much chakra do you really use up just walk at one? There's no way we'll be able to know because this is pure fiction, of course, but it's just like, you're only using like a little bit of chakra. I feel like it's just like a little bit of chakra just to walk up a wall or walk on water. What's next? Y'all gonna make some type of way for them to like walk on water too? I don't know. That sounds of a ninja tool. It just feels like it's a little bit pointless, but they're gonna find a way to explain it as how it could be beneficial. Okay, that's new. That's different. Yo, yo, low-key watch and Boruto Shippuden or whatever the second, you know, you know, like how Naruto got Naruto Shippuden, right? When they have the time skip, all of these technologies, right? They're going to show up. In, they're going to show up on that. I like it. Uh, you're pretty much seeing what the future of Bor Boruto, well, Naruto is going to be if once we get the, the time skip, you know? Dang! Yo, that thing left a scar, bro! <laughs> Man, Borto, shut up. You were just having fun. That thing is like Mule Sporn. So we'll be seeing more Samira. They did a beautiful job. Don't let this episode fool you. Even though nothing crazy is going on or no explosion or all that, this, what you're looking at right here, is the future of Borto. Just wait, once we get that time skip and you see suckers with all these scientific ninja tools in which you have seen in this episode, you're going to be like, how did this happen?
You just see it right now. This episode explains how you're going to see how important Scientific Ninja Tools are in the upcoming episodes of Boruto. Not now, obviously, but in the time skip, whenever we get it. This is where he gets the lightsaber! Yo! I like it! Oh, convert your own chakra into a blade. Oh, yeah, bro. Bro, I just I just realized, yo, we still haven't found out what happened to Kodama and Megino. Like, at the end of the last week's episode, at the end of the last week's episode, uh, we saw that they were able to get away from the freaking puppets that were coming after them. I just now remembered, oh, yo, wait, we haven't seen nothing about them, heard nothing about them this entire episode. Holy crap, man. Oh, boy. Oh, and we got a good portion left. I'm glad they gave us all that meat all the meat and potatoes about the scientific ninja tools just then just like we're up in here because now we got this little bit to go y'all gonna say y'all gonna say hey stop no no <laughs> oh man dog i need some fan art of delta bro Oh, is this how code looks? That sucker code looks like a daggum BTS member, bro. My boy got that horse slap. Being a man chosen by God? Okay, I don't know nothing about Bora. I have no idea uh, what's gonna happen to Bora, but I did not know he was like this. It reminds me of, uh, of Hediger or Heinegger from um, Final Fantasy VII. Mmm, code. Code might be the traitor shoot. Yo! Megino, don't you dare. They're actually at the crash site. We are getting so close to Kawaki's appearance, dog. And it's crazy by how fast it's going, man. See, all throughout these episodes that we were getting the board to, where it was quote unquote filler or anime canon. All that type of BS, right? This is the main reason why I said just wait. Patience. Let these suckers work on the freaking anime, right? You see how fast we going through chapters of the manga? This thing is picking up, dog. Because Kawaki... I, I know something said episode 186 or 187 is when Kawaki's going to show up. But I'm just like, you're saying, dog, are you sure... Cause I'm like, these episodes are picking, they getting so freaking fast right now. Uh, I mean, we're only on what, episode 183? Yeah, we're on episode 183, bro. And what, three episodes away? When you really think about it, we're about to approach Boruto's episode 200. I don't know what they're gonna do for the 200 episode. Probably it'll be like some type of anime only type of crud, but it's just like, these episodes are really picking up and i love this freaking episode because now boruto is starting to accept and see that scientific ninja tools can help when they are used because now Megino's in critical condition i know i, I get a feeling y'all are hinting i don't know what's gonna happen to Megino. i just know about the prophecy this sucker might die and it's just like one we were just introduced to him Till we had like a little, we found his backstory, but they usually do that when they're about to kill off a character to have you feel like an emotional attachment to them before they yeet them off. So it's just like, dog, I, I'm gonna keep putting this up here. Like a lot of people are riding the board to hype train like crazy right now, right? They gotta go into some anime only crud. They gotta go back to the novels. I y'all even told me like all the novels that were adapted for the board like like they have novels for Borto. So they gotta do them. But the thing about it is if we get Kawaki and you see Kawaki in the opening, so he's gonna play a major role to teach that. I'm not spoiling Jack. It's just like Kawaki has to be around, right? So here's my question to the people that read the novels or have some knowledge of the novels, right? Was Kawaki with them in the novels? If not, you know what I'm about to say, like, how are they gonna be able to do that? You know? I truly wanna know how will the ninja world be at the time skip? But yeah, guys, 
Thank you all for watching. Please, as always, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I will be reading the comments, which is, uh, and I'll probably and I'll probably do what I did in the intro. I'll add y'all comments to it. The ones that I personally have liked and all that, I I personally liked and vibe with. I will definitely put them in the video. I love that. You guys talk to me, I talk back to you. Pretty much, good give and take. You know, take it easy, yo. Operatives, move out. People come. Oh